Welcome back, GME Nation. This is your host, GME Grace, aka GME Reacts. And today, we're going to be reacting to Midnight Horror Story Animated. This video is provided by Llamas Arts. Yeah, Llama Arts. We're going to subscribe to their channel. I'm going to start doing animations like this in the future as well. So y'all stay tuned for that um, on my animation channel. That's GMB underscore creates on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at GMB reacts. That's GMB underscore reacts. And for my animation page on Instagram, GMB underscore creates. Link will be in the description down below. Um, but let's get into it. Um, Midnight Horror Story Animated. Um, I'm watching this at like almost midnight. Yeah, it's like 11, but the video is a midnight horror story. So it's almost an hour, before, hour till midnight. Um, but um, let's go. Let's get into it. Midnight Horror Story Animated. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm not making this video for attention or sympathy or anything. I just want anyone who can help me to do that. My name is Daniel, and this is a story I wish I didn't have to tell. I've been a night owl my entire life. As a teen, I used to stay up way past midnight every night, watching terrifying videos on YouTube. I know now they were nothing compared to the horrors of the real world. Nothing compared to the tragedy my family and I went through. The story I'm going to tell to you now. My parents, being teachers, had always emphasized the importance of sleeping well to me and would definitely disapprove of my late night routine. So I knew that if they'd caught me up at that time, I'd be in big trouble. At first, this wasn't a problem, but after I told them about a child predator in our neighborhood that I'd seen in one of my videos, they seemed to grow more and more paranoid, which was obviously understandable. Every night, I'd hear one of them wandering into my room, checking on me, and every night, I'd immediately turn off my light and pretend to be asleep. I never knew for sure if it was my mom or dad coming in, since obviously if I opened my eyes to see, they'd know I was awake. Mostly, I presumed it was my dad from the heavy sounding footsteps, but either way, I found it pretty hypocritical for them to preach to me about being up late when they were awake themselves. Sometimes I wondered if they knew I wasn't sleeping, because often it was only after what seemed like hours before they'd finally leave and go to check on Alfie. That's my little brother and Lucy, my little sister. I'd have asked them about it, but I thought it would have Oh been... hell no. <laughs> That's a oh, I'm sorry, bro, but that is that. That's that white people stuff, man. I mm. I can't sugarcoat it. I ain't finna sugarcoat it. Ain't no way in the world. In a suspicious I'm locking doors the after that. I have about my staying awake deep into the mornings of the next day. Like I said, I guess they were just paranoid about the child predator. It was stupid, stupid for me to presume any of these things, and I'll never forgive myself for it. But I did it all the same. Anyway, one day, Lucy's school, where my parents. First off, how do you even get in your house? Y'all you know, leave doors open like Canada or something? How did he get in your house? How did he get in your house? Quietly, without anybody noticing. Y'all must leave doors open. That's that suburb right there. That is that suburb stuff right there, bro. It's both were announced a school trip. It meant they'd be gone at some point next month from Saturday morning to Sunday morning. And it meant that I'd finally get to watch the horror movie my friend I hear that attack on Titan haircut. Had refused to that Levi ass haircut. <laughs> and Frank got that Stranger Things haircut. Let me watch. There was one downside, though. I'd be left to look after Alfie. He, being only six years old, my mom was reluctant to leave him in my care alone. But my dad defended me. Reminding her that Alfie had been up most of the night after a nightmare, so he'd probably sleep most of the day anyway. Besides, he reassured her, he's 17, he could be given a little responsibility. With a heavy heart, my mom agreed. I honestly wish she had. Finally, the morning came for them to head off. 
It took longer than expected because my sister said some of her favorite toy dolls had been stolen, but eventually my mom persuaded her that they were probably just lost and told me to look for them whilst they were gone. I begrudgingly agreed, and soon they were ready to go. As they were leaving, my mom gave me a stern word, reminding me to lock the doors, not go to bed too late, and take good care of Alfie. She told me she'd be watching through the security cameras to make sure I was looking after him properly. So how come the sister got to go with them, but the brother had to stay? That don't make zero sense. All right, that's that white people stuff, I told bro. her she really didn't have to worry. Then we said our goodbyes, and they were off. Alfie and I spent most of the day playing outside. And just, just be clear, I'm not being racist. That's just what be happening in every single horror movie. Most of the people that be starring in home horror movies are white folks. That's that horror movie stuff. That's that stuff that they do in horror movies, bro. And which is stupid, bro. Like every single time. Hot. Huh. But came in after the frisbee landed near a strange man who Alfie, Alfie said had been in his nightmare. nightmare. I told him that that was ridiculous because even if he somehow was in his dream, he wouldn't be able to remember. Anyway, I went by myself to get him. I have to admit that the man was fairly creepy. He had a huge grin, and his eyes, staring right at me, seemed to be permanently forced further open than they were designed to go. His clothes all seemed to have been made from someone 50 years younger as they struggled to cling to his fully grown body. It was cold, but he was wearing a sun hat. Oh, this man looked like Hunchback Notre Dame. Matter of fact, why he look like... Why? Bro, why he look like... Why he look like the, uh, the ugly dude from Goonies, bro? The one out of Cyclops, bro? Come on, bro. You can't tell me. And he had two eyes, not one. But you look ugly. You remember the Goonies? That one guy was like... Hey. That one. That one. Tiny one for children which barely fit on his head. I recognized him, but didn't know how at the time. If I'd learned anything from the videos I spent my nights watching, I'd have abandoned the first being left. But clearly I didn't, because not wanting to feel like a baby, I approached him. As I got closer to the man, his smile disappeared, and he removed the hat and held it behind his back. We saw how he moved ahead with the quickness. I began quickness. to see his features in greater detail. He looked tired. He was pale and his eyes were bloodshot and had huge gaping bags under them. He looked like a serial killer, bro. Why are you walking up to a serial killer in the middle of the day with nobody around? In the entire time it took me to get to him, the man didn't move an inch. Other than the odd blink, not even his eyes shifted. At this stage, I was getting uneasy. I just wanted to get it and leave. Hi, can I have my frisbee back, please? Thanks. The thought of that conversation, if you can even call it a conversation, still makes me shiver. I locked the front door as soon as we got home. That man was like, looks, I like you and I want you. Now we can do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. That man was like the booty warrior, but just silent. We were both a bit shaken, and Alfie looked tired, so I gave him some more food and put him to bed. It took him about two hours to fall asleep. He kept complaining that he'd have another nightmare about that man. I told him he wouldn't, but he wasn't convinced. He whispered to me, Well, if you see him again, don't worry. Here to fight him off. This seemed to settle him down, and soon he was fast asleep. I watched him in the boardroom. He could be in the middle of a big meeting, but if one of the kids was on the phone, he dropped everything to take the call. He told me that the family could. Anyway, yo, this is this was crazy though, bro. Cause like I was looking, and I was like, yo, this this uh this reminds me of uh the. The animation we're watching right now reminds me of uh, the George Clooney, um, not George Clooney, why I say George Clooney? Reminds me of It with Georgie from It and, and his older brother. And I feel like the freaking uh, uh, sex offender 
that's in that lives in the neighborhood is like um low key uh the real life it but without the clown costume or whatever like that. Anyway, let's get back to the story. But man, that little kid just reminded me of Georgie. Like I can just see the whoever's going in to bust in their house be like, hey Georgie, want some popcorn? Pop, pop, pop. Like you know, you come on, bro, you can't tell me. You ain't giving those off those type of vibes. Something I'll always regret. I turned off the security cameras. I watched it for two hours straight, my eyes never straying from the screen. Until I replayed the last few seconds of the film, but the sound didn't happen again. It was coming from inside my house. Oh, hell no. Gotta go. Alfie? He didn't God. reply, but I could see him under the cover, so I thought he was just asleep, and I didn't want to wake him up. I swear, if I thought anything worse had happened, I'd have checked. You okay? I thought maybe I was just worrying too much, hearing things. Fam, the whole window was open. Who leaves a window open at night? The hell? That boy got snatched up like a... Like a Krispy Kreme treat at my at the <laughs> oh I got stopped up like a Krispy Kreme treat that quick trip, bruh. You gotta. It was late. The film no, had been scary. Scary. Maybe it was just all in my head. I knew from the sound of his voice it was him. Alfie. Alfie. Usually this much noise would have woken him up. Alfie, what's going on? I knew something was wrong. It was him. The doll. I couldn't believe it. It had to be some kind of sick prank. It had to be. But it wasn't. It was the man I'd spoken to earlier. He'd taken my brother. Alfie! certain they'd be gone before I could reach them. But he didn't set off straight away. He watched as I tried helplessly to do something. I screamed and I shouted and I banged on the windows and I tried to open the doors. But nothing worked. That's was one evil mother... <laughs> there was nothing I could do for my brother. That's my best know. friend. As he was stolen away from me. This sound just like it, but without the clown. It was too late for the police to do anything. It was too late for anybody to do anything. He was gone. And in time, I'd have to come to accept that. You have nine new messages. First message. Hello? If you're out with Alfie, call me back when you get back in, please. Love you guys. Bye. End of message. Second message. Daniel, we've been trying to get a hold of you for hours. Is everything all right? Did you turn the security camera? Wait a second. They was on the first floor. They was on the top floor when he was looking out the window. How the hell did he crawl up to the top floor with no ladder? What does he do? Parkour? Yo, that's some creepy stuff right there, bro. Camera's off. I'm just saying. They'll be fine. The security system probably just glitched out. Hey, Alfie, just call us as soon as you can, okay? You know how mom worries. End of message. Third message. Listen, Daniel, we're starting to get really worried now. If you don't pick up, one of us is going to have to come home to check if everything's okay. Please pick up. End of message. Fourth message. Daniel, are you okay? Daniel! What's happened? Please answer! I couldn't bear to tell them anything. That was seven years ago. Bro. I never found him. When I asked my parents if they'd seen anything at all of this man whilst they checked on us during the night, they 
And he looked at me, concerned and confused. What do you mean? They asked. I could only stare at them in horror. Every night, around two, he'd come and check on Alfie, Lucy, and me to see if we were sleeping. Daniel? They told me. No, no we didn't. didn't. Oh, hell no. The police wanted security camera footage of the man, but of course, there wasn't any. It automatically deletes any footage older than 24 hours, which meant I'd been mindless enough to stop it recording on the only night we could have seen him. You know, the strange thing is, I don't even know if I want Alfie to be alive. Because if he is, God knows what that monster has done to him. <sighs> Sorry if I've gone on too long, but the guilt's been killing me. I had to get it out somehow. I only tell it as a story because, well, people like stories and I want as many people to hear this as possible. Alfie, if somehow you're watching, I love you, and I'm so, so sorry. No, that's so self Please, don't lose hope. And to the man who took you, it's not too late. If you have any heart at all, and even if you don't, please, please let my little brother come home. To everybody else, if someone comes into your bedroom at night, open your eyes. You never know who it might be. Damn. I still stay up late at night. But it's not because I don't want to sleep. It's because I can't. In case anyone sees Alfie, this is the last good photo we took of him. That's it. Stay safe. sticking around to the end of the video. If you would like to support the channel, check out the merch link in the video description. That's messed up. You ever heard about people flipping? That's messed up. Dude, that's messed up. Y'all thought this was going to be scary. This was just straight up sad, bro. Sad and creepy. Well, that being said, that's why I lock my door at night. Yeah, but um, other than that, y'all let me know what y'all want me to react to next. Uh, what scary videos you want me to react to next on YouTube? And, uh, scary or creepy story or whatever. I like doing these animations, though. Um, so yeah, let me know what story y'all want me to react to next, and I'll see if I um if I can react to it. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section down below, and if I whatever comment requests I see first, I'm gonna react to. With that being said, y'all have a good night. Um, <laughs> hope you can sleep after this. <laughs> This is your boy GB Chris, aka G Reacts, GMV out. Yo, these busts, I ain't even gonna cap to you. These sour patch gushers? A1. I feel bad for that man, bro. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. What would y'all do if something like that happened to your sibling? I, what I would do, bro? I can't even imagine that. I don't even want to talk about that. Because I couldn't even fathom that, bro. I have to explain that to your, your parents. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I know it. That's that's life changing, bro. Anyway, y'all leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Roll to one K. Boy, Jimmy Curates, AKG, BX, GMB out.